over into a garage to get away from the hustle and bustle of the studio. We're going to repeat an experiment performed by Cavendish more than 100 years ago. We're going to try to measure the force of gravity between a box of sand and a bottle of water. You could repeat this experiment yourself if you wanted to. It's uh, not too difficult. Should I stop it once it touches it, or? That's pretty much where you want to go to, right? You could also let it bounce out again and then videotape it another time from above. Okay. I mean, it's not going to take any extra time. It's about ready to bounce mm -hmm. here. But instead of using just one bottle, we have two bottles of water and two boxes of sand. Our two bottles of water are suspended from a yardstick that you can see. The yardstick, in turn, is suspended by means of some recording tape, thin recording tape, that goes clear to the ceiling. The period of oscillation of this torsion pendulum is pretty slow about 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is to show you the oscillation of it in stop frame photography at a rate of about 60 times normal. In order to show the angle of twist of the pendulum, we have a mirror attached to it right down here. A light spot is reflected from it shows its swing on the wall. The period of the pendulum is really 12 minutes, but you see it here in 12 seconds. And I'll mark the middle of the swing, like that. Now we're ready to uh, put the boxes of sand in place so that they can pull on the uh, bottles. Okay, now we're ready to watch the sand pull on the bottles. It's swinging. And the center of swings is displaced over to one side. Mark a new center of swings. Now, instead of setting the boxes back the way they were originally, uh, what I'll do is to move them around so that they deflect the pendulum in the opposite direction. There it goes. Now, it swings over to the other side.
it's at 1.5 meters away from the wall. Um, this is position one, if you want to see here. Uh, sorry, if you can zoom in here. The uh, laser is at 24 and a half. I'm using the right side of the laser for my readings. Um, so switching into position two. experiment. The problem with Cavendish's experiment is that it is so good at isolating the small masses that it is sensitive to all kinds of forces, not just gravity. So what I've done is I've set the experiment up in a contained room in my basement so that I can isolate it from the various forces and air currents that abound in the house so that I can detect the thing that I want to detect, the small force of gravitation. Of the air currents as much as I can. It is currently stabilized. You see the two masses on the balance beam, which take the place of the apples that we talked about upstairs. And now I'm going to place these attractive masses nearby. And if Newton was indeed correct, then the law of gravitation will slowly draw the masses on the torsion balance towards the bottles that I just placed down. Each second of video is about seven minutes in real life. The balance is suspended on a piece of fine monofilament fishing line, which you can see in the top of the image. Initially, the balance begins to spin, rotating in response to forces from me interacting with the experiment, in particular air currents. But slowly, over time, gravity works its magic, pulling mass to mass until the balance pins itself in a stable configuration. Balls balance, the bar is free to turn. Now we put another ball on the left side of each of the two original ones. If everything attracts everything else, the balls should attract each other and the bar should move. There is an attraction of gravity between the lead balls. Oh God, I wish I finished college. First, we weigh a small lead pyramid to measure the force of attraction between it and the Earth. Its weight is 152.166 grams. Now we move the heavy lead ball under the scale, adding its mass to the mass of the Earth. The weight has increased by one thousandth of a gram, which represents the attraction between the pyramid and the ball. When the mass under the pyramid got bigger, the force of attraction did too.